Well, good morning. Uh, I had some people uh, want to know how I made a, uh, an air tank out of uh, an old uh, propane bottle. I looked on the internet and found some useful information, but it really didn't, it was a lot of work. And I found uh, probably a better way. Let's take a look at the, at the, uh, the tank to start with. Okay, uh, this is an old tank. I painted it after I finished uh, plumbing it and everything. Uh, these outer threads uh, mean nothing. That's just for the company that fills it to fill it. Uh, it's these inner threads, and this is a left-hand thread. Uh, so it's going to take something specially made to adapt or to hook up to a propane bottle. Okay, what I've got here is, excuse the jiggling, but what uh, I purchased in order to make this, and I'll try to explain a little bit about it. This particular product, which is right here, is a Mr. Heater propane fitting uh, soft nose P.O.L. with hard wheel, which is this plastic piece, uh, one quarter inch male pipe thread. All right, and the pipe thread is uh, part of it. You can get one that will adapt to brass. Uh, I just happened to get this because it was only six dollars. So, okay, what this looks like is this. This screws into the bottle. This goes in before it screws into the bottle. You screw it in then. This orifice in the front up here originally is about the size of a needle. So I drilled this out on a drill press uh, to, with a quarter inch drill. All right, so here's, here it is attached. I did happen to attach this to a pipe T fitting because I also had this this gauge, cheap gauge I got at uh, the hardware store. I then used the male hose connector uh, to the other end of the T and that in turn connects to your quick release for your air system. And I did it this way so that the entire thing is portable. So this is the setup. This is your connection to the bottle. Goes into a pipe T, into a male on the quick release, the female on the quick release. This T is not needed if you're not gonna put a gauge on it. You could attach this in to the threaded end of the quick release right here and then this would insert in there that is all well and good I will now try to show you what I have on uh, the hookup at the air compressor itself so hold on all right This is a shutoff valve, and I put this on the compressor when I uh, first bought the compressor. Sometimes these quick releases do not seal up good, and so when it's not in use, I just shut that off and it saves your air. I have a male-male adapter going into a brass T. The direct end goes right, right through to my, to my uh, hose, air hose. And the other end of the T goes up here and is then placed. This snaps in to the uh, to the to the uh, tank. Let's take a look. Go up here. This will now go ahead and attach to the assembly that I made. In that way, I can shut the valve off up here. Save the air. 
disconnect my quick release down here. And then I can place whatever I want on here. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever implement is needed, such as something to fill up the, the tank or the uh, your tires, or it can run air equipment. I, uh, I hope this explains things.